So we're here with Demi. I forgot for a second your name. Oh wow! <laughs> Sorry, I paused. <laughs> I'm hopeless at names. And we're going to go on the motorway. Yeah. First time, isn't it? Yeah. And you say you're a bit nervous. I am very nervous. Um, now it's a windy day. Yeah. So um, I have checked the uh, Google, and the motorway we're going to go on is pretty clear. But it doesn't mean it's going to be quiet. It's going to be busy. Okay. What sort of problems are you going to get in windy windy days? Traffic. Traffic. Swaying. Swaying. Yeah. The, the heavy goods vehicles and motorways. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're going to drift. Reasons. It's a bit like a sail. It's going to push them sideways. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get going, and we'll drive to the Royalty motorway. And um, last week we had a, a lesson. And um, it was getting on and off um, a dual carriageway using slip roads, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that, that helps us today. Yeah. Okay, so okay. get started and we'll get going. Okay. Sign there, we're taking the first exit. Onto the, the first M1. exit. Yeah, so it's M1 North. So we're not saying that's the speed limit. We don't know the speed limit on the motorway yet until we get the slip road. It could oh, be yeah. reduced. I think last time I came in about a month ago it was 50 mile an hour. Indicate. And you. Yeah, we're not mind readers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, at the moment there's no sign, so you just build your speed up. Yeah. So it's a nice downhill, long one. <sighs> so, okay, deep, deep breathing. <laughs> So you got your speed up quite nice, sorry, don't you? Yeah, can do it yeah. if you if you put. Yeah. So you well no, just truck next to you, drop off the gas a little bit, let him get ahead of you, and then as soon as you get up behind him, yeah, tuck him behind him. That's it. And they've even opened up the smart what way is this on the left, haven't they? Oh my god, I'm on the raceway. <laughs> See this it's opened up on the left. Yeah. So if you want to get into it, you can do. Should I get into it? I would personally. And then there's no pressure and I want to try to go past you. Because when we're coming down the slip road, it's hard to tell sometimes whether that lane's going to be you know, the left lane or whether yeah. it's going to be straight onto the motorway for a given way. So we're preparing to give way, weren't we? Yeah. So keep your gap from the, the truck and that way is safe. Yeah. A bit more? A bit two more seconds. Gap. Two seconds, like that. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah. This doesn't feel as bad now that I'm on it. Yeah. So. <laughs> The downside about the left lane, like, like it is now, yeah. if someone breaks down, You're... they've got to get in that yellow breakdown area there, aren't they? Yeah. On the left. Yeah. If they can't make it, they break down this lane. Uh, yeah. So then you'd have to move over. Yeah, so, so keeping a, a gap as big as you, you can yeah. gives you time to kind of react to that. Because if, if you see that truck pulling out, he might be pulling out for a reason. Yes. Um, when it does break down, They've got cameras above monitoring things there. Yeah. So they'll close the lane. Okay. They'll put a red cross above it. And they'll say traffic go to the other lane like that. So, so you, you've got to get in that lane at that point. If you go past a red cross. You're, do, what happens? Do you get a ticket? Yeah, you get a ticket. Yeah, oh, okay. I think it's £100 pound fine. Okay. You know, don't quote me about that. I'm sure it's, a, it's three points, £100 pound fine. Okay. I might be wrong there, but you, you, you'll get fined for it because um, the, the pre warning you the lane's closed because ahead of you there's a problem. It could be a breakdown, it could be an accident, it could be that they don't need that lane open. Yeah. And it's, and uh, I say the, 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 the problem with the, the other, other problem is that the breakdown areas are too far apart. I know, they are a bit. You know, that, that's the, um, the mistake they made. It, yeah. When, when they trialled them, the, the breakdown areas were closer and it, it worked. But then they started to roll out across the UK and the breakdown areas were too far apart. Yeah. So it became a problem. So I think they put a hold on the continuing to actually change the model. But I know lots of people have been um, like complaining about the smart motorways and stuff because they're dangerous, aren't they? If someone does get break down or something, yeah, yeah. they're really dangerous. Yeah. yeah. The, the idea was right, you know, extra lane when it's busy. Yeah. So it flows. I mean, it's flowing now. You're doing 60, yeah, 60. To, 60 is smart. Yeah, so, dead on 60. Yeah, so the, the heavy goods vehicles can only do 60. Yeah. So you're matching their speed. And in the left lane, there's no pressure. Yeah, exactly. Everyone can whisk past you yeah. in their own. In their own. Yeah. 
you know, because the other three lanes are just for overtaking. They're not like, people say, oh, the, the, the far lane is the fast lane. Well, there's no fast lane. Yeah. They're, they're all overtaking lanes. And then you see the exit coming off. Yes. In one mile. Should so I move over? Oh, we're going to get off. Oh, we're going to get off. And then get back on. Okay. We're going to practice that way. <laughs> so you can get used to it. So it's telling you the exit's coming off, isn't it? Yes. But there's two ways to get off. Yeah. There's two lanes. Yeah, two lanes to get off. So we don't want the the, uh, the south one. We want the second one. I think they both lead to the same place. Okay. <laughs> but they've kind of split them up to make to, to, to split the traffic up. Because so when you come off, there's going to be two lanes there. Yeah. And then when you get to the end of the, the slip road, it's going to go left or right. So do I just carry on straight well, at the minute? Yeah. And then when we see the countdown markers, see the countdown markers yeah. coming up now? You start planning to, to kind of tell everyone you're coming off. So I come off at this one? Yeah. Okay. This one's fine. For the next one, it doesn't matter to me because at the end of the day, now the hazard lights are on, there must be a queue. Okay. Should I come so off at the next one? Come off at the next one. Yeah, I stopped it in a minute. Yeah. And then signal there. That's it. Now see this guy here, keep it slow down for him, slow down for him, slow right down for him, so he's being dangerous. Yeah. And he's being dangerous here. Didn't even acknowledge you then either. Which way am I going? We're going straight on. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to go to this lane here. Yeah. And we enter, we're taking the second exit to get off on back on the motorway. Okay. Lights are on green. So you just come across to your left, like normal, and get back on the motorway. So we'll just speed back up. So what happened then was there was a broken down vehicle on the, on the slip road. Yeah. So rather than them stop for you, they just, just kept going out, didn't they? Yeah. Forcing you to slow down. I used the horn and say, I'm here. Yeah, I should have done that. Now, that's it. I was checking you right there. So if you just slow down a little bit and then get ahead of you. Yeah. There's a nice big gap behind, isn't there? Yeah. So this time we've got to get, get across it's closing. So as you come down there, there's a big truck next to you, wasn't there? Yeah. That's why I say, get on, get off the habit, innit? Yeah. Bet you think, is it nice all the time? No. Slip roads are usually quite clear. Okay. But so if uh, there's a lorry coming past you when you're on the slip road, you've just got to let them get past. When you're when you're coming when you're, down, yeah. yeah. When you're coming on, the best yeah, because thing to it, do is just to let them yeah, yeah. slow down and let them get if, past. If they're quite far back and you've got the power to accelerate and get, keep ahead of them, then yeah. do it because they can only do six to get there. Yeah. But as we're coming down there, it's kind of on your shoulder, isn't it? You can see yeah. him, you can see him in the mirror quite clearly, so it's easier to look behind him and say there's a big gap because no one likes sitting behind a truck. No. <laughs> because they're thinking, oh, I'll take him. Yeah. So there's always a gap behind a truck. So you just kind of drop off the gas, he shoots past you, you're tucking that nicely. Okay. And the signal tells everyone. Sometimes trucks will pull out for you if they're not, yeah. if it's quiet. But the, 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 it's there right away, so, so it's your, it's, your it's, it's, it's up to you to get on safely. And the safe thing at that point is just drop off your gas. Yeah. They'll shoot past you, you've got a clear bit of space behind you. Service station coming up in one mile, we're going to come up there. Okay. That's fine. And then we'll park up for a minute, have a little break. Yeah. See him bouncing around then, that truck. Yeah, and he's braking quite a bit. Yeah, there could be people ahead of him, yeah. slowing down. So we're doing 55, but the, the motorway's not always going to be doing 70. It's yeah. It's doing what's appropriate. So an half a mile, so you've got loads of signs telling you, telling you that's exit. Yeah. Literally the truck behind you is overtaking you because he wants yeah. to go faster. And that's, that's fine. fine. But we, we're not bothered. We're going to come off at the next exit. Yeah. When they do pass you like that, try not to look at them. Because you look at them, you're going to drift towards them. Look, yeah. look at the road. Okay. 
and, uh, and on a windy day, you might even feel a bit of a wobble as you go past. I it. did a little bit, yeah. just then when yeah. you went past. <laughs> Where the slipstream kind of grips you. And then just start slowing yourself down. Because these are quite short. Now one of these entrances is lorries. Yeah, so you just slow yourself down, look for the one that says cars. Yeah, so that's so it says to the right. Yeah. So you check your right mirror. You know, because you know it's like some people are just crazy, they'll try and go around okay. you. Even though you're all slowing down at the same place. And then we'll do a right turn into there, and then park up for a minute, give you a little breather. I will talk about how we got on. Gives you kind of a little rest as well. Yeah. Anywhere? So anywhere that you want to park. There we go. Easy, isn't it? No. <laughs> no. That was scary. I should have reacted better to that. The, the lorry fine, but then the Volvo, that car, yeah. I didn't. I thought that he was going to wait, so I thought I would just, I don't know. I... Most people would wait. <laughs> yeah. But he just kept coming out, even though, even though, yeah, that's why. He would have seen me in his voice. Oh, yeah, though. he's seen you. And the thing is, um, when he straightened himself back up, he didn't look across and say, I'm sorry about that. He just blinkers on mm. to say, I'm an idiot. I'm not going to ignore it at this point because I know I've done something wrong. Yeah. You know, and um, what all we done was quick car and say we're here, so we didn't kind of go straight into our lane. Yeah. Um, and then he kind of straightened up at that point. Yeah, I need to remember to, that this is here. Yeah, that's what the Sometimes story. I'm, I get it's a bit a nice loud to order. use it. <laughs> so don't be afraid to use it. You know, yeah. if you keep your hand on it, it's aggressive, isn't oh, it? Yeah, so yeah, the quick yeah. one then, eh, that's telling them that you're there. Yeah. And, and, it's, and it's, not, it's, it's not as if they couldn't see you, because yeah. you were the only one coming down there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the truck had already committed himself, so you just slow down and let him go. But I know what to look out for next time at those sort of things. Next time, yeah. you just got to be extra if cautious. If there's a queue, people try and yeah. change lanes. So just have to, to remember to rush. just to... Like that. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So I'll be extra safe next time. Yep. Should we carry on? Yep. Um, so, um, service stations, little tip for you. Park as far as away you can from the... From the and they've got more space, haven't they? Closer you get, the busier it is. So people don't like walking, and the petrol in service stations are dead expensive. I know. You see the numbers on the petrol stations? It's ridiculous. I didn't see that bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually about ten p a litre dearer. Yeah, yeah. Ready to go on then? Yeah. Just finding our way out now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've got no idea. So that was quite interesting, them two acceleration lanes getting on the motorway, where every time we were coming on, there was a big truck near us. Is it here? Let's go down here. Looks like they've closed because, that bit. Yeah. Haven't they? And then go down. Can you get out of that way? Yeah, we'll go that way. It looks like they're kind of doing a bit of work, doesn't it? They've kind of bit of a weird one. Go left. Okay. <laughs> right, they've, they've, it's, the, the, the arrow's directing you down I there, know. but you can't get down there, can you? Yeah. Let's go left down there. It's because they've closed off certain bits. Well, I don't know what they're doing. But some pipe work from it. Go left here, because we can't go around there because they've closed that bit down there. Guys, everywhere. And then, can we go down there? That looks like many places, isn't it? Here? Let's go down there, yeah. I'll just make sure what those cars are. I'm not sure if you can squeeze through there. I think they've all got the same problem. They all try to get out. It's not, they should have signs. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, running around that way, yeah. Okay, I think they've found the way. Yeah, it's like a little maze when like they, they close the exits off and then. And give yourself a lot of space from this here. You don't want to scratch your car. No. He's already got a few scone chips in the front bonnet. Yeah, my, my bumper's got a few chips on it. Has it? Yeah. Oh, exit. Straight on. Yeah. It's 
you can't see that while the roll works. I'm going to look how much the petrol is when we go past it, so you can see the price. <laughs> Exit straight on. Yeah. So yeah, the, the acceleration lane out of service station is a lot shorter usually. So as you're coming on, you just, you've got to be looking for the gap straight away. Okay. You're not going to be able to get your speed up so quick because we're only short. One pound eighty for a litre. Wow. And I think it's one pound fifty four. Yeah, it's around about one five five. Yeah. yeah. It's just like about it's like about twenty six p a litre dealer. Yeah. Crazy. It's only like a, a mile away from Milton Keynes. So anyway, here it is. So as soon as you get around the corner, you let them know you want to get on. Oh my God, this is short. Yeah. Start checking your mirror. That truck, then get past yeah. you. Nice gap behind him, isn't it? Yeah. You get used to it. There you go. That was a real short one, wasn't it? That was. I think that was about a 10 second runway. Literally. <laughs> and you straight away you're I on the pivot. I didn't even get up to fourth gear. No, no, well, as soon as you turn around the corner, it's there. Yeah. It's like they've, they've, cut, they've cut corners making that slip road, haven't they? Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> literally, because uh, the corner. If we was going to overtake, by the way, yeah. we would have to plan it quite a... You'd be, you'd be looking in your mirror, looking ahead, and you'd also be looking in, in your right for cars in, in the foul lane coming into the lane you want to yeah, get. Yeah, because I've seen a couple of accidents where people both Yeah, have they both change lanes at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So you watch for things like that. So if you feel like you want to overtake the trucks, you can do. If you want to try it. So you're starting to pull out in your lane now. So this is a good time to, that's it. So that's, the, that's the trick, it's not about rushing, it's about checking, signaling, and then, and then right, definitely, gradually coming across. Yeah. Giving everyone the chance to see you doing it. And then just, just gradually build your speed up to 62, 63. Yeah. Because you can't accelerate hard, and, then, and you'll eventually be able to take it slowly. And if you feel like the car can get a bit quicker, then do that as well. But I'm not going to force you to, to strain the car too much because you, you've got a lot of empathy with all the cars, that are, that are not so much all, but ones that are not got yeah. the power. Yeah. And we're not going to point that gap. We're going to keep going. Yeah. Because that gap's for them too, isn't it? Exactly. And if you point that gap, it's going to be a bit naffed off for you. Yeah. Thinking, I need that space to stop. It doesn't feel as bad when you're driving on it and it's just straight. Yeah. It doesn't feel as bad as it looks. Yeah. It's all about looking ahead. These signs at the top, by the way, above your heads, they help yeah. you a lot. Yeah. And if we do break down on the slip roll, there's a breakdown phone there. Yeah. So last year for information about the car, whereabouts you are, mm -hmm. and you got the, um, the numbers, on the, the numbers on the side, yeah, to tell you exactly where you are to pinpoint it. And see them grey posts with the cameras on? Yes. That's monitoring the left lanes. Yeah. So if it, it's a breakdown, they'll close it. So yes, it's put your foot down a bit more to get past him, but kind of stand in his, stay in his blind spot. And then once you get past him safely, then we'll change into the left lane again. Okay. Keep a bit more. Is that enough space for you? Yeah. Let's get back in then. It's just about not rushing. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when you're in the second lane from from the left and you're overtaking, you're going to get a, a heavy goods vehicle going into that into your lane to overtake someone else. Yeah. And you might have to go in the third lane to overtake him. Okay. But keep looking ahead because if they all start slowing down, you've got to start slowing down. Exactly. If there's a a traffic jam and they're slowing down fast, they're probably going to put hazard lights on. Yeah. Or you could put hazard lights on if no one puts hazard lights on to yeah. warn people behind you. There's a hazard, everyone's slowing down to like zero. Exactly. Because if people are not paying attention, they'll break late. I mean, everyone's behaving themselves, aren't they? They are. 
Is it, you know, it's windy. <laughs> That's where it is. See the trees flapping around above that. You know, they don't get many risk takers in it windy. No. Because if it's not changing lanes quickly, it's going to cause exactly. it, you know, swerve. And it's and it's what it's like. It's flowing quite nice. Possibly, yeah, possibly. And the, the thing is, when you move out of the area where you live, to say you're traveling a long distance, you're going to come, come across different types of weather conditions oh, yeah. along that way. It could, yeah. it could be sunny in the next half an hour, different area. Yeah. Uh, if you're traveling in the morning, early or late at night, you're possibly going to get fog in autumn and mm -hmm. winter on the motorway where you've got to be careful there. Yeah. Not to kind of slow right down as you're entering, but mm -hmm. get your speed down slowly before you get there. Yeah. So that you're monitoring um, as you're entering it. Because what people do is they, they hit, they're still doing 70, see the fog, and they hit the brakes as they go into oh it. Oh my God. And slow right down, yeah. and someone goes straight in the back of them. Yeah. And what you should be doing is spotting that ahead if it's dangerous. And the signs sometimes tell you, and slowing down gradually before you get there, so that the car behind you's got to do the same. Vehicle we all took, yeah. it'll take us now, which is fine. We're quite happy doing this. If you're worried about him being close to you, you just drop off the gas, yeah, and he'll shoot past you then. See, yeah, and then he's not next to you, and there's no like, oh, it's that big, it's noisy, I'm worried he's going to come into this lane because eventually he wants to get back in anyway, yeah. But that's it, that's it, that's it. one of the top tips is don't kind of sit on the, the blind spot of a truck okay so what, when we were going past it before i said yeah. kind of put your foot down and get past them a bit yeah so that it's safer for you because they might not see you and then they'll just they might start to change lanes and yeah. they won't see you next to them that's a good point i didn't think of that when i was yeah. going past him yeah. to be fair i mean we were doing all right but but i mean um maybe next time when you when you get to the point where you're just about to overtake them if it's clear just a bit more power, yeah. get past them quicker. Yeah. Uh, if you've got the space to do it. Or if you haven't got the space, sit behind the truck until you've got the space and then put your foot down there. And that yeah. kind of helps. I quite like this. It's yeah. quite nice. It's yeah. You'd have the radio on, yeah. talking to, you, to, your, to your, your friends in the car. Yeah. And just relaxing. It's quite nice not having to worry about constant roundabouts. Yeah. Like in Milton Keynes. Yeah, or stopping at lights for no reason, yeah. or trying to watch out for cars. See, so you just cut right in front of that. It looks like it, but it didn't. Did he not? No. It looked really close. Yeah. It's deceiving from distance yeah. how, how far away they are. Um, to me, anyway, it didn't, didn't look like it. And obviously, the weather changes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I brought a coat along me just in case. Because if you break down on a motorway, you can't sit in the car. You, you've got to get out, haven't you? That's actually a very good point. That's actually a really good point to keep a coat and stuff. I mean, yeah. uh, it, if 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 you're like doing like a, a two hour drive yeah, and it's yeah. in winter, yeah. then what I would suggest is bring a coat and bring a blanket. Yeah, and and um, if if you know it's going to be forecast snow in the in in the UK somewhere. I always put I always put like a, a travel bag in the boot. Yeah. So if you get stranded, you, you've got clothes. That's true. And I, I was saying to Mum the other day as well, it's a good idea to keep like just some snacks in the back as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like a bottle of water yeah. or something. No, you, you spot on. That's what you want to do. What you do is you, you prepare for things uh, because even if there's, there's no bad weather, you could have an accident ahead of you where yeah. it's become a gridlock, and you sat on the motorway for four hours. Mm -hmm. Which is obviously the last thing you want to do. You don't ever go in the bush around the corner for a toilet thing. Because everyone's sitting there thinking what we're going to do now. And what you don't want to do is, is have the radio on for four hours. Because it'll flatten your battery. Do I need to move over? Should we move over? Well, because I'm not coming off. Am I coming off? No. We 
stay where we are. Oh, okay. They, they say in there, four lanes are going ahead, okay. two lanes are coming off. Okay. So I'm telling you there. But if you want to overtake him, you can do. If you think he's going too slow. No, he might He might come off at this one. He might do. He might start in, indicating the next, next minute this day. So it's telling you that in Northampton we're coming off. So I just carry on straight. Carry on, yeah. Just keep your little gap. Because mm -hmm. the traffic's flowing quite nice. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too busy in the right hand lanes. No, either. everything's going fine at the moment. But um, yeah, bring your coat along. Yeah. Because if you do break down, um, obviously you want to get yourself in the breakdown area. Mm -hmm. If you've got an arse shoulder, it's even better. But you've got to climb over the seats. You can't get out of your side. No, yeah, that's a good point. Because the slipstream, the yeah. car is going to drag you. Yeah. So you've got to get over the seats, get on the get on the um, embankment, or over the barrier, mm -hmm. if there's no arse shoulder at that point. And, and it's going to be windy and cold. So that's why you need a coat. Yeah. And if it's in summer, you want, you want suntan lotion. Yeah, you're exactly. Gonna, you're going to burn. Because I remember years ago, Doing a, uh, doing a pass plus going down the M25 on a, on a lesson and we passed someone who was on the embankment two hours later we went back and they still sat there and yeah. it was sunny and I thought god they're gonna they're gonna burn to death dehydrate at the same time yeah okay now there's so people coming people on the coming on. road so if you've got the space to pull out check check your left side first is anyone there no so you got that's good yeah no true <laughs> But so if people were coming on, you check the mirror. And if you want to pull out and help them, you can do. Yeah. You know, it's making it easier and safer. Yeah. But if, if like, it's just one car coming on like we was, you could, that car will try and slot in. Yeah. You know, and if it looks like that car is a bit of a silly driver where they don't, they don't know how to do it, and they're trying to come on at the same time as you, you can avoid them by either pulling out or yeah. dropping off the gas and then get ahead of you. Yeah. Because it's your right away, but you, but you want to avoid the idiot. Because you get lots of idiots who on the roads who, who, who don't know how to drive, and you think, "Can I have a pass a driving test?" Yeah, literally. Literally, yeah. And it's coming on. They're coming down the slip road, and it's up to them to get on safely. You're already on the. You're already on that motorway, or on a dual carriageway. The slip road joins, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, some slip roads have got giveaway lanes, like we had on one. Some slip roads join and they're on their own little lane. And because the weather's getting wetter, more of a gap drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to get off at the next exit in a mile. Okay. We don't want to go to Birmingham anyway. No. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Birmingham, but it's just too far away for us. Yeah, you might offend anyone that's watching from yes. Birmingham. Well, I've got a few people who watch from Birmingham. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. I, I, like, I like going through Birmingham, mate, because I've got a Birmingham on the way to Manchester. Yeah, I've been quite a few times to Birmingham and I'm going to Manchester in December. Oh, whereabouts? I don't know, just in the city of Manchester, the city centre. We want to go right to the... I'll exit in half a mile. Okay. M40, the same. You're ready for it, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I'm waiting for the sign. You can rest your hand, it's not here yet. It's a half mile away, say. Yeah, just, just in the busy bit of Manchester, because yeah. I've never been, so... Oh, there's a tram system there. Yeah, I heard about that. When I get to the roundabout, which way am I going? We're going to follow the signs for the M40. A43. Okay. Right, in fact, what we can do is. Yeah, I've got to go this way from there. Yeah. I'm just slowing down because I don't know what's coming next. I've never been nice, bit. Sorry, car behind, but I've got no idea where I am. <laughs> oh, it's a 30. And it's a right turn, isn't it? Yes. Let 
let's do um, a, a U-turn and come back. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Because I don't want to take us miles and miles away and then we don't know where we are. Yeah. <laughs> Seem to be doing lots of roadworks here. Yeah. Left hand go. Yeah. Oh, I can't go right. I've got to go around that way. Yeah, maybe we do a, a U-turn next bit. Close it all up, haven't we? Oh, we'll go left at the roundabout. Okay. That gets back on the M1. I thought there must be an entrance somewhere to go. Yeah. I was hoping it'd take us another motorway, but it's taken us miles away. I wonder what we're going to do. I've got a feeling we're going to cross over the motorway and turn right to the M1, but I might be wrong. Yeah, it's left. Oh, I'm going left, then. Yeah, London. London left, Kettering. yeah. That's yeah. the one, yeah. It's taken us back there and then we can cross over. Looks like a left turn to get back on. There we go, that little slip road for us. Building it up. If I can build it up. You can. Come on. Oh look, you've got enough speed to get on now, haven't you? Yeah, nice gap. Yeah. So even though it's a short one, there's a nice wide bit, wasn't it? Yeah. So it wasn't so scary as it was. the wind a bit more inside. I know. So if it, if it was a windy day like it's now, then you, you, you're you probably going to be quite happy to sit in the left lane. Yeah. And keeping the gap and being safe. Especially because this car is so small. Yeah. It doesn't weigh as much as yeah. big cars. You want more people to get up, will not you? Yeah. <laughs> Just to weigh it down. Literally. <laughs> so don't take off anyway. Yeah, top tip would be uh, drive, drive slowly, uh -huh. anticipate things a lot earlier, Yeah. Um, go as slow as you think you can do safely. The, the deeper it is, the slower you go. Yeah. Have a shovel in your boot. Yeah, true. We, we've got, me and mum have got stuck in the snow plenty of times, yeah. plenty of times, and people have had to help us um, out. When it comes to winter, I always put a shovel in the boot. Yeah. Um, and I've helped people. There was, there was one time when uh, it snowed quite heavy, most of about seven, eight years ago. Yeah, and that's when we got stuck. And uh, we, me and my wife we, we, we were actually going to London that day. Why are you? And we, and we got to train stations, the train station, the road cancelled. So, yeah. we, so we went to cinema <laughs> instead. Right. And we got there, and that was cancelled because no one could get there. So oh, we went, walked back to the car, and this young girl and young, young boy, must have been about in the early 20s. And she's out. She's she's in outside the car pushing it in the snow, and he's in the car. And I'm thinking, yeah, should be the other way around. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Obviously, she can't drive. But, oh, okay, yeah, true. But um, the wheel's spinning. Yeah, it just spins. It just makes it deeper. Yeah, and she's obviously getting frustrated and upset. So I, I, I said to her, "Let me help you." So I just said to her, "Go and sit in the car." I got the lad out of the car. I said, "Listen, I, I'm going to shovel away a little." couple of little troughs for you so you can drive onto them. I'm going to push you onto it. Use your second gear. It's in first gear, is it? I've heard that you should use second, a higher gear yeah, for setting right. off. Because <laughs> if, if you're um, in second gear and you try and pull off the second gear in snow, mm -hmm. you'll have a bit of power on, a bit more than normal, and you lift the clutch up and you're not going to be able to pull off because it's going to struggle with it. Yeah. It's going to pull off slowly. So when you pull off slowly, the tyres grip the snow. Uh, and that's where you can get yourself going. And then you hold the clutch still while it's spread to pick up speed. So you're on the clutch a lot at that point. Mm -hmm. And then you'll pick up speed. But if you're in first gear, it's going to spin pretty quick, the wheels, because it's, it, it's just trying to pull off quick. Yeah. So second gear in snow, usually a good one. Yeah. So yeah, then that, that young couple got on the way, and the, the guy looked dead happy at that point, and the woman looked dead relieved. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame them. And me and my wife got in the car and drove off and went back home. So our, our night was kind of ruined because of snow. Yeah. But at least we got home safely. Exactly. Gloves as well is a good one. 
yeah, gloves, yeah. Oh, and a hat. Yes. So you're, so you're kind of ready. So if you have to walk and, and abandon your car half mile from the house, you're not yeah. gonna, you're not going to kind of freeze halfway up. No, exactly. Because there's been plenty of time when I lived in Halifax in Yorkshire, where I'm driving over to Snobbin, and I've had to leave my car a good mile away for the night. Not on, on a side road, but I couldn't get uphill. And leave it there and just walk up. Yeah. You know, if you try and go up a steep hill, it's not you're just going to crash. Exactly. But um, I would definitely check the weather forecast if you're going to go on the motorway. Because this morning I looked on Google and it was fine. Yeah. Traffic was flowing. Because usually it highlight, highlights areas that are dangerous, isn't it? Like pits, like traffic jams. Yeah. These are all worst case scenarios, but today we've been on the motorway, it's just flowing quite nice. It is. You're not struggling, you're happy doing your driving. Yeah. You're not so scared on the motorway now. No. You'll be fine, you and your partner share the driving, you're both happy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's our plan when we go to Manchester in December, that I've said that he can drive through Manchester because he's obviously more experienced than I am, so he'll be better oh. in the it's a nightmare in the center yeah exactly so i don't want to do it and um but i can drive has he got experience driving the tr tram systems ask him to look at the um the highway code on, on tram signs we um <laughs> we went to birmingham um a couple of months back in the summer for the first time we haven't been before we wanted to go to the shopping center yeah. and um i don't know how but our maps our sat nav it yeah. took us on the tram yeah. line bit and there was two police officers there and <laughs> we were like we thought we were going to get in trouble because we were like well this is definitely not where cars are supposed to be and yeah. he got out and asked the police officers and he was like i'm definitely not supposed to be here am i and they just laughed they were like no but it's fine like you just need to go back that yeah. way yeah. Um, sat now sometimes are not reliable yeah. when i was in my 20s because i lived near manchester i took the test near manchester in a place called hyde if anyone knows hyde i'm going to shout out for them but um driving around manchester it was it was a challenge for someone in the 20s yeah and like yeah. trying to find a, a car park then was difficult and then the, the the tram system just got built then you see yeah and then you always hear about little crashes Another exit coming up, quarter of a mile, a third of a mile, come off again. We're coming off again, yeah. Because yeah. the more you practice it, the better you get. Okay. You kind of get good at it. You get used to it. Because when you go on the motorway after this, you might stop at one service station on the yep. way to where you want to go. Exactly. But if you've had a few goals of getting on and getting off, you're not going to be so scared about it. You, you'd be thinking, I know what to do, I've got to be careful. You know, these are quite short, so you get your yeah. speed down now. Do you want to park up or do you want to drive straight through? I can drive straight through. Yeah, so we're going to drive for the exit then. So we'll just keep going ahead. This one? Yeah, go in this one here. Because it looks like you've got to go in this to get out, isn't it? And then head towards the fuel because that's where the exit is. God, 180. Oh my god. And then we're practically in Lumberkin, aren't we? Yeah, we're in Newport, Newport Park. Yeah. 180. Honestly, if you can avoid paying for fuel in service station, you do. I wondered what he was doing then, but I'll exit fuel. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a bit of string. Which way? We go down there to the right. Yeah, I'm rubbish with directions, mate. So, See the end. When I'm driving on my own, <laughs> couldn't be like, where am I going? Now just be a little bit careful because everyone comes from your left. Yeah, true. Because you've got a giveaway line out, you have to check to your left, make sure it's safe. Yeah, that looks pretty clear. And then build your speed up. Jesus. Bit of a pothole, aren't they? How are we looking on the motorway? Yeah, there's a nice big gap. Excellent. Some are easier, some are hard. Yeah. Depends on the traffic. But the, 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 the good thing is, we were planning them, weren't we? Exactly. We're looking for the gaps straight away when we come up. How did 
didn't even see that pothole back there. I think it was a crack across the road where yeah. the, the, the two roads joined. So as you went over it, the wheels dropped on it. Yeah. I didn't see it either. It was where the giveaway line was worn out. Yeah. <laughs> I could just see the white line across there. That's what you got to watch out for. Some Sometimes you got like, just near the exit, you've got two entrances coming onto it. Are we happy? I am happy. Should we head back home? Yeah. And then you've got plenty of time to get home, then you're not worried about running out of time here. Yeah. So we'll take the next exit off into the St. Milton Keynes. Feel the wind then pushing it I out. know. Caravans are a bit more dodgy in the wind. Yeah, I can imagine. Or trailers are going to get bounced around a lot. Got the big tree on that side protecting you on this side yeah. quite low. Yeah, I know what to do now on the motorway. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it, it would I mean, be. Changing lanes on motorways so on other motorways not that hard. It's just kind of looking at the signs ahead of you and then looking for where you want to go. Yeah. And if it's saying the left lane comes off and you want to go ahead, you've got to change lanes, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You do things early. watch out for people when you're coming off. <laughs> yeah, that's lit road. <laughs> yeah. Looking back on it, I mean, when we look at the footage, there's probably going to be, I think there was a trailer there picking someone up. So someone had broken down, but that car shouldn't have pulled out. It yeah. should have waited for you to go past. Next time, I know. Use your horn. Yeah, and I know exactly what, to be cautious of that exact thing happening. Yeah, so I'm not you there. So we're going to go right at the roundabout. So the middle lane will take us around. Okay. Because I think both lanes go the same way. But we want to come off this, don't we? Yeah. If you've enjoyed watching Demi on the motorway, then feel free to give a comment. I'll put some videos on, on motorway driving. For you at the same time. Take care, everybody. Bye, guys.